At the time Brigham Hall was founded, there was only one mental institution in upstate New York. That was the State Asylum for the Insane at Utica. Dr. Cook had worked there. He was very much impressed with the work of Dr. Amariah Brigham, uh, who was the superintendent at the time he was there. And so when he decided to establish a new and a private institution somewhere in upstate New York, he chose uh, Dr. Brigham's name for the institution to honor him. He had checked out several communities in upstate New York settled on Canandaigua for a variety of reasons. He was able to cite the institution in a place that he thought would contribute to a calm atmosphere for the healing of his patients. He was very careful to organize Brigham Hall along the lines of a hospital. It was the first such institution in New York State that actually bore the name hospital rather than asylum or institution. Now, Brigham Hall was also self-sustaining. It was surrounded by a, a grove of trees that the patients could use for recreation. It was also surrounded by fields, and it was in those fields that uh, much of the grain and other crops were grown that were actually served in the uh, dining room at Brigham Hall. Dr. Cook's passion for establishing a, a hospital for the treatment of the mentally ill can be seen in a number of ways. A very large portion of the capital that was required to build the institution and to get it started was actually raised among the members of the Cook family. And he was a, a true pioneer in the field for the treatment of the mentally ill. Brigham Hall closed as a mental hospital in 1960, but the main part of the Grove, the original institution building and some of its outbuildings still exist. It was developed finally in the late 1960s into condominium housing with most of the grounds subdivided and many of the outbuildings sold off and new buildings constructed.